family good morning uh welcome back to another vlog um so today i just woke up it is saturday it's around 10 something i woke up around nine i had to resent all myself and all you know the plan for me was to wake up at eight and start walking at nine but the way i have been loving my bed recently the way i have been loving to sleep recently it cannot make me prosper like i cannot prosper with my bed here so i woke up around nine you can tell i'm like one hour behind but the agenda that i made for myself for today i tried to leave some a uh, free space in the middle of my agenda because i know myself i know that when i'm on holiday when i'm not working my mind is really slow but when i get back to business i'll get back to being very quick at all and i'm not trying to be so hard on myself because i'm telling myself um you are on a holiday for a reason you are resting you're not supposed to be hustling so hard so i'm not trying to be harsh on myself but on monday i'll be back to work so yeah um today's agenda is i am gonna work on a scholarship that i'm working on um which i told uh my instagram family i'm working on a scholarship that i want to go for my masters because let me tell you this year i'm not playing i'm not playing and i pray to god that i get accepted and if i do not get accepted it is okay i keep on trying next year or maybe i can pay for myself because i feel like this year i want to have my master's degree and that's on period so i'm gonna work on that and then after in the afternoon i'm going for the journaling event and i'm also printing my vision board because i've been having my vision board in my phone for a long time today is the day i'm gonna print it and hang it there so so that's what is on the agenda today i'm one hour behind so i am gonna jump right into the work i'm not gonna take my breakfast my breakfast because it's already 10 something so i'm just gonna take my lunch and then go to the journaling event so let's jump to the working part the application my desk is a mess um i'm drinking water like at least i must have two liters per day during the day um this is my breakfast like idikoma is my favorite origin forever so i'm just gonna have that it's 11 24 i need to be quick I need to be quick because I have to get ready at 12 and then leave this house around 1 p.m. because I don't want to be late. The last journaling event, I was like 30 minutes late and it's not professional at all. So I want to be on time this time because I'm also receiving my journal from Journaling with Asa. Asa, yeah, I'm going to put her name here. I don't want to spell it wrong. So she does have like journaling event every month like twice a month i think twice in a month i think and i made a promise to myself that i will attend at least one of them or all of them if i can and she also sells like journaling journals um so i got one for myself because i want to start the year with a cute journal the one that you saw me journaling in um at the start of the vlog is a notebook that i got from woman deliver so i wanted to journal because i love journaling i cannot spend a day without journaling so i wanted to get things out and i couldn't i didn't have like a journal and i wanted to really do it so i used that notebook so today i'm gonna get a new journal and use it um another thing is that i don't know what i'm gonna wear like for real the outfit that i plan to wear in my head I tried it on on Wednesday and the shirt is not fitting me so I had to change the whole outfit and I don't want to wear something that gives too much too much I just want to go for something casual and cute but also put together I'm also think, taking with me my pink sunglasses so I want to wear something that has pink in it so I'm still like trying to brainstorm that I have 30 minutes left uh, to finish my application so i'm just gonna go back to that so um yeah hard i've been doing this application for a week i don't want to rush i don't want to do anything wrong so i'm just taking my time one step at a time just reading going through it 
and just making sure that i'm not missing anything so pray for me guys because i want to get this scholarship like asap yeah i also need to consult my dad because he's good he's good at what i'm doing here and i'm gonna consult him to see if he can help me when, with anything when i come back because now if i talk to him now i'll have to explain everything we'll have to go the whole thing again and i don't have the time for that i'm just gonna do that when i come back so wish me luck guys i'm late i'm not late actually i still have like 15 minutes to get ready i started the process of getting ready so the first thing that i do is to pack my bag because i want to get dressed and get out of this house so i will take this green bag with me green yellow Sorry, I'm gonna take the yellow bag with me. Those are the papers where I'm gonna get my um, vision board printed on. The next thing I want to take with me is my pink sunglasses. Not easy got for me. I have. I'm gonna take my sunglasses in this little bag. This bag come with these glasses, but I'm just gonna quick these huh? and so that they do not break. Another thing I'll take with me is my wallet. I don't have to take my wallet because there's nothing in my wallet. A pen. I will find my journal there because I purchased one but what if she forgets about it and I'll need something to write in let me take my small I will take this small packet, pocket planner packet. this small pocket planner because in case she forgets about my journal I will have this as a backup and I always take this with me because whenever I have like an anxiety or something moment, I just pray with the help of this one. But it does not go with Timba Wachan because I've been working on myself. I think that is it. Those are the things that I would only need. Yeah, the outfit. forever because i couldn't find something to wear like it took me like 50 minutes to find something to wear and what i'm wearing was not part of the plan but i didn't have any choice so i'm not wearing any makeup i just did my eyebrows liner lips and now i'm going to step out so bye
face is so beautiful, the arms are amazing. People are creative actually. So I am home, I'm back home. I had a really beautiful day, but I feel like I'm gonna do a recap for today, tomorrow. So I can tell you my experience at Neo Art Center, the journaling experience. By the way, one thing that I'm really excited about that I cannot wait, that I cannot wait for tomorrow, is the journal that I got. Cute, right? So small, so portable. I can have it in my, um, bags when i go to work it's like i'm gonna take my journal everywhere and i pray to god i never lost it but i'm not gonna lose it because if i cannot lose my phone i cannot lose my journal so this one is from um journal with asa um the one who organized the whole journal link event and i made a commitment to myself i don't know how many times how many times i said this man i just give me bear with me i was saying i don't know how many times i said this but i made a commitment to myself to go to the journaling event every month so this was the first journaling event of january and i'm planning to go each time and one thing for sure like i want you guys uh, my youtube gang to be part of this journey as well so whenever she would drop the date i'll make sure to um include in each vlog of mine i'll make sure to remind you to come to this event because it is the best thing you can do for yourself and we did so many amazing things so i'm gonna give you a review tomorrow i'll make sure to wake up on time because i'm only remaining with one day so tomorrow i want to wake up around eight so that i can get ready i have an appointment at my university around um 11 at 11 so i must be there at 10 30 or 10 45 so i'll make sure to wake up at 8 because i know i'm slow and i'm gonna wear a cute dress tomorrow that i cannot wait to show you because on sunday i wear dresses only um the one at the lighting the sun is i can even give you the review i think i can give you the review we don't have to wait for tomorrow right so um <laughs> i went for uh let me put my phone on a tripod okay now it's Okay, now it's better because my fingers are not holding the phone. Um, so let me give you a recap of the journaling event. I was late, uh, t like 10 minutes late because the thing that happened, I left uh, the house at 1.30 and then it was hard for me to find a motor guy that knew the place because all the person I would tell, I'm going to New Art Center, they'd be like, it's the first time that we hear about that. Can't deny you one thing you need to know, the only place I know is town and Hichuchiro. Like if you take me to Gachuriro, to, to Kachiru or Chimihura, I don't know any place there. Like it was my first time uh, getting to the Kachiro hospital because the place near at center is uh, near Kachiro hospital. So getting there was hard because I don't know any place there and me giving you direction is the worst thing that can happen to you. Uh, I tried to show the motor guy the Google map and he'll be like, nah, go mad. No, 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 according to the Google map. So one motor guy was like you should call the place and ask them like a hari who they should give you direction so i went on instagram i searched for the place i called them and they told me go so i went that's why i was late because um we left my place around two like at 1 50, 50, 50, 55 that's when we left my place to um Kachiru, and then the place is so beautiful as you saw in the footage and we started the journaling uh workshop and today we journaled about three things that made us happy yesterday and i had to look intentionally to my day and see the things that i'm really grateful for and it was so beautiful and then after we did like a bucket list for 2024 where we included a hundred things that we want to do i want you i want to show you mine but the problem is that i filled it and i don't want you to read my stuff so I'm gonna show you one of the parts with hand so it was on a paper. Oh my god, I don't want you to leave my, to read my stuff. So what we did is to include a hundred things that we want to do in 2024. It could be something big, something small, a place you want to visit, um ex an experience you want to have, and then Rubamara go quality chinokazuka taking. 
so we did that it was very good very intense and after like the session lasted for like an hour after the session i had to chill with my friend we talked laughed talked about our goals all the good stuff and yo one thing for sure in 2024 i'm being um very intentional with my friends like i want good energy i want someone who uplift me someone who can talk business someone who can tell me like Vivi, you should improve this like i don't want no drama in 2024 so yeah that is that i also got my journal as i mentioned and this is was this is was and this was around i think it was 8k or 11k i think it's 8k i don't remember the price i'm gonna check my uh, messages and see how much i paid for this one it's big yo it's big and i think i'm gonna see how long it's, it's gonna last because i will know when it ends and i love it so cute so that was my day we visit we visited the place um like if you go to the cafe you are allowed to visit the art center so we went on the inside those arts are really expensive like <laughs> but they are beautiful and then i kept on chilling with my friend now i'm home it's around three no i mean not three now it was at the two it's around 9 p.m um if it's not 9 p.m already so i am going to open my laptop i just remember something that i need to do like asap so that's what i'm gonna do and then uh chill like my brother was suggesting that we should have a movie night so we may have a movie night or i may watch something on netflix i'm currently watching uh griselda i'm gonna put the name here which is um uh, a series about a drug dealer a woman drug dealer i love that because it gives me queen of the south kind of vibe and queen of the south is like by no i'm trying to say so um and i also had a nice iced coffee which is something i don't even drink coffee but when Izzy was in Randa, I tried her iced coffee and now I have become addicted. So from now on, I will have only iced coffee. So yeah, so let me um, work on my application and then uh, shower and then yame and the sprays are amazing. So let me just open my laptop. actually didn't study here for a long time because the moment Mount Kenya came to this building I was finishing my studies so basically I only came here to see my lecturers nothing big I also saw that they got a medical center wow wow I don't think can happen in five years I'm so proud actually so let me call the person I came to see so hi guys good morning it is the next day um i feel like this is the official good morning because i woke up really late today one thing about me i will sleep and i will forget that i have a schedule i used to tell myself that i'm this kind of person that doesn't need an alarm like i'm always on time but the past few days have been proving me wrong from now on if i have an appointment i'm gonna put on an alarm because my normal alarm like my head alarm disappointed me today so i woke up at 9 15 and the reason why i woke up is because my father came into my room 
so um when i woke up i prayed journaled uh, did some phone calls here and there and then i started getting ready i had the appointment here at 11 so i had to be i had to be quick and i got here around 11 10 and now i'm still at the university um as i told you i'm applying for this scholarship and i need two recommendation letters from my lecturers so that's why i came here at mount kenya because i did my bachelor's in nursing here. oh my god oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> not my recommendation letter flying like bro i came all the way for you so please stay here so yeah i did my bachelor in nursing here in 2018 that's when i graduated and um i came back to get my the lighting here is really terrible so i came back here oh no this is too much so i came back here to get my to get recommendations from my lecturers as i was mentioning and i need two of them but so far i have one and i have to make sure that everything is ready before the ninth because that's when the that's the deadline i should have done this sooner but <laughs> one thing about me i have become a pneumonia guanda so yeah, i will wait for the deadline to do things but i want this to change because tomorrow i'm going back to work i don't want to take this energy to work i don't want to go to work with this laziness so all of this is ending by today like tomorrow help me accountable um to see my everyday activities you need to follow me on instagram i'm just gonna pop it here because i vlog daily on my instagram and then i do weekend vlogs here so if you love my content if you love spending the day with me that's the place to be so as i was mentioning i met with one of my lecturers and uh, my other one gave me an appointment at one so i'll be chilling here at the university um it's 12 something so i'm just gonna wait for like the whole hour here and then meet with my other lecturer at one so the amazing thing you know they even sell coffee <laughs> oh my god and another thing i want to share is that the moment i got in here like i missed going to school like the moment i got inside of here and saw the people coming out of class so the whole building they have a medical center they have they're building a hotel that wow mount kenya it's now mount kigali you're impressing me and if my scholarship doesn't go through i'm gonna come here for my master's like that's on period that's on period um yeah so they got coffee beautiful places where you can sit outside um when i used to study here i never sat here because as i was saying in my first footage we came mount kenya came to, to this building when i was finishing when i was graduating so i never really had the chance to be here um so i'm just gonna take advantage of that and the thing is before you get in you have to be a student if you're not a student you're not allowed and I had to tell them, like, I used to study here. I am coming because I have an appointment. I'm going for my master's. And one of my teachers told me, like, why did you wait this long to go for your master's? Because I was so blind. Like, as I told you, I didn't, like, in the past, I didn't take my career path really serious because this is the thing I was focused on other, on other things. But this year, I am growing in each area of my life. And I want to go for this master's. Like, if my scholarship doesn't go through, I will still come here for my for my masters and I pray to God like I want this scholarship to death like I want it for real for real so pray for me I also did my edges the lighting yeah it's really terrible so I was telling you guys I want this I want this scholarship for, for real for real like put me on your prayer schedule like pray for me every day i will keep also pray for myself like god make this happen because i want to go back to school like so bad i miss this ah no queen oh i also packed my own tea it was really hard for me to wake up so i have my black tumbler i broke the so i had to take my cousin's 
um, yeah so I got my tea in here and one thing you need to know I am lactose intolerant but I couldn't find anything else to pack so and I know it's gonna mess me up but I don't have a choice because I'm hungry and I'm wearing a really cute black dress and some vans and the laptop is there that's not my laptop actually because my laptop is too big so let me do some work while I wait for the 1 p.m. to be here but yeah I just take the energy like the studying energy take it in